Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Cornwall Aviation Heritage Center now faces dissolution. FAA Varma Initiative Ubuntu Vintage GA Fleet. New Florida law curtails use of Chinese-made drones. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Cornwall Aviation Heritage Center now faces dissolution. It breaks our hearts to tell you that the UK's Cornwall Aviation Heritage Center has been confronted with the very outcome it has battled mightily to circumvent. The Cornwall Council, the governing body of England's Cornwall County and steward of the Cornwall Airport Nuque, upon which the CAHC's museum has operated since 2015, has set forth that subject museum must vacate its current premises immediately. The CAHC had hoped to remain open through Easter, as revenues from holiday visitors would have helped the organization boost fundraising for the construction of a new site. Regrettably, the CAHC's petition was denied by the Cornwall Council, which set forth it had airside customers waiting to occupy the structure. The unfavorable outcome compelled a local venture capitalist to withdraw his pledge to provide £1 million to the CAHC's relocation fund, thereby forcing the CAHC into the unenviable position of having to hurriedly extract its exhibits from the soon-to-be-vacated facility whilst finding new homes for its collection of vintage aircraft. The Cornwall Council has permitted the CAHC to temporarily park its aircraft on a disused portion of the airport, but has failed to provide covered storage. CAHC was formerly in negotiations with the Council to allow the museum to remain through December 2023 and provide some breathing room. Negotiations broke down, however, and some exceptional examples of aviation history have been endangered. Coming up after the break, Democrats cool on acting admin Nolan's permanent appointment. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Democrats cool on acting Administrator Nolan's permanent appointment. The FAA's top spot remains occupied by acting Administrator Billy Nolan, a former American Airlines MD-80, 757, and 767 pilot. A number of lawmakers have stated that the industry would benefit significantly were Nolan appointed to the position permanently. An anonymous aviation industry lobbyist disclosed the contents of private conversations pertaining to the White House's stance, stating, quote, He's clearly running for it. I'm not sure Cruz's endorsement helps him, though. What I've heard is the White House is going to nominate someone in the next couple weeks. I don't think they are asking the Hill what they want, end quote. Swift Fuels extends $100 forever at Gas STC. Swift Fuels is an Indiana-based producer of unleaded aviation gasoline for piston aircraft. The company is the only fuel concern that has to date developed, produced, and sold a qualified unleaded avgas product across the entirety of the U.S. Swift's UL-94 unleaded avgas is FAA-approved for over 70% of the U.S. piston aircraft fleet and complies with an ASTM production specification. The company limits the cost of its STC program to a one-time price of $100, an offer which has been extended to the end of the year. Changes to Airman Knowledge Test and PHAK Announced 
The FAA's Airman Testing Division disclosed it has been working in cooperation with its testing vendor, PSI Services, to scientifically assess existing FAA Airman knowledge tests. Assessments of the private pilot airplane and commercial pilot airplane knowledge tests have been completed. The results of subject assessments are scheduled to be implemented on April 24, 2023. While the subject matter of the aforementioned test will not be modified, changes will be made to extant test questions for purpose of ensuring they align with current airman certification standards and reference existing FAA handbooks. Spirit of Flight Museum to Display Cassette Racer The Spirit of Flight Foundation Museum confirmed that a Cassette 3M Formula One racing plane has been donated to the museum's collection. The Cassette Special is a single-seat sport and racing aircraft designed in 1951 by Tom Cassett, a TWA pilot from Huntington, Long Island, New York. A clean-sheet monoplane featuring a fully cantilevered mid-mounted wing and a fixed conventional tailwheel undercarriage, the machine was envisaged by Cassett specifically for competition in Formula One air races. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. FAA Varma Initiative, a boon to vintage GA fleet. The FAA has unveiled a new program for the use of off-the-shelf parts in type-certificated aircraft. The approval is the first granted under the new Vintage Aircraft Replacement and Modification Article program. Owners and operators of Vintage Aircraft are familiar with the challenges inherent locating and securing FAA-authorized parts for their machines. Infuriating conundrums arise when perfectly functional and safe alternative non-OEM parts are readily available but cannot be legally utilized. The new Varma initiative draws from extant FAA policies to create a program requiring no new regulations, orders, or ACs. Varma applies to small, less than 12,500 pounds type certificated aircraft built before 1980. The program allows ordinary maintenance personnel to validate that certain low-risk replacement parts are suitable for installation on eligible aircraft. The Varma program applies to non-critical parts, the failures of which do not, quote, prevent continued safe flight and landing, end quote. Though Varma does not pertain to safety-critical components, the program nevertheless renders many clone and aftermarket aircraft parts immediately and legally available and installable. For trial purposes, the EAA applied for an off-the-shelf starter solenoid for use in a Cessna 150. Several weeks later, the FAA granted the first Form 337 approval under the Varma program. And after these messages, New Florida law curtails use of Chinese-made drones. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. New Florida law curtails use of Chinese-made drones. A bill drafted by Florida lawmakers in 2020 and passed in 2021 went into effect this week. The law bans Sunshine State government agencies from utilizing drones made by a, quote, foreign country of concern, end quote, which is to tacitly state China and strongly imply DJI, a company accused of collaborating with the Chinese Communist Party and added to a U.S. Treasury Department blacklist. The Chinese Communist Party is a direct and major investor in DJI. Drone industry publications, many of which are heavily dependent upon DJI advertising and endorsement, have intimated Florida police agencies are unhappy with the new law's implementation. Such allegations are belied by Florida residents' positive reception of the new law and the fact that police departments throughout the state are willingly grounding their entire fleets of Chinese-made drones. Florida Senate Bill 44, now Section 934.50 of Florida Statutes, put in place standards and rules pertaining to the use of drones by the state's government agencies, law enforcement, fire departments, and other public entities. Many statutes contained in the legislation were previously in place and range from the codification of systems by which to publicly disseminate images or video captured by drones to the proper storage of drones. The bill's final provisions specify those drone models alternately approved and prohibited by Florida state legislature. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.